Greetings of the day everyone. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to install Splunk Universal Forwarder in Linux Debian. So this as Splunk Enterprise, this Universal Forwarder does not have a GUI. So you cannot see a user interface in a web browser so that you can use your credentials to log in. So all the stuff that we will be using to access or start the Universal Forwarder will be using the command line, which is the backend. So all the code that will be typing will be available in the GitHub and I will give you the link in the description. You will find the link in the description of this video for you to read through or for you to check it. So if you always, I say instead of this, my video, if you prefer reading, you can always look into, into my git. So now let's just get on into the video to how to install Universal Forwarder in Linux. So we have a Linux Debian up and running. So before first installing the universal forwarder, we want a software package which is wget. So we're going to download that first. So we're going to go sudo. So basically there's nothing installed, anything installed in this instance. This is just freshly created. So sudo apt install and saying else to the agreements. So yeah, so once we get this done, so what we're going to do is probably go to a new tab and then say Splunk Universal Forwarder, Splunk Forwarder. So we have this link, if you want to click, then we're going to take into, and then you have to sign in. When you click this, you'll be prompt to sign in, just give the credentials, and then go down, then go down and then go down. You will see Splunk Universal Forwarder, just click download, it will take you to another page. We're supposed to choose our operating system. We go to Linux. We will choose dot D E B. So we click download. Yeah. Now we want to cancel this because it doesn't want to be in my local machine. I'm just going to cancel it. And click it. Then we're going to do a control A. You see. So if you don't prefer doing this, like going into and signing in, or if you have no account. I have a repo in my git, I'll just leave the link in the description of this video. All you have to do is go here and then copy this link. Then you can then you can go here and do this and then CNLS. So we have it here. So all the process that will be follow as I said in the intro, the code will be available. If you prefer, you can go to my git and directly copy paste all the code. So after this, now we want to install it. So we're going to do we're going to copy this. Oh yeah, we should we should be as a sudo be in a super user position to do to run this command. We're just going to copy that, we're just going to paste it. So this is start unpacking. So this is complete. So now we can check it by cd pt slash s and just tab Splunk forwarder. So it will be similar as Splunk. So you will also have a bin folder here. So we're going to give cd bin. Then we're going to do the same process that we will use to start the Splunk enterprise. So we're just going to give sudo. Just going to give start. Sorry, not sudo. My bad. I got trigger happy. So give Splunk start. Then I'm going to press enter until this becomes 100%. Just want to see all the user agreements. So once this is done, you have to say, I, I agree with the license, you know, yes, and you'll ask for username, you're going to give admin, and then you're going to give a password, then again, it'll be prompting you to ask a password, and then, yeah. So once this is done, the 
Splunk Universal Forwarder will be installed and running successfully. So as you can see, started running Splunk Server Daemon. So this is how you install and use Splunk Universal Forwarder in Linux Debian. Catch you in another one. Bye bye everyone.